Welcome back everyone. So today I am going to be working on two paintings, which I am dubbing The Neighborhood. We're going to start off with these little guys right here. Then I'm going to move them out of the way and bring over the canvas. I already have the tape down, so you guys know I'm going to be doing a border on them. One with the black border and one with the white border. And what we're going to do with these, real quick, I'm just going to fill up the two little cups with the rainbow colors that I have laid out right here. And we're just going to do a little splash right across them. I'm not going to do much else with them, we're just going to let them dry that way. And then once we have that done, we'll come back and we'll work on these. And these we're going to do something a little bit more intricate on each one. Let me throw these colors in real quick and we'll get started. Now I do have these on a separate board because I knew since they're all separate little hinged pieces would be kind of a pain. So I did put them on a board prior that I can tilt. And I'm just going to rock them back and forth. I still want a majority of the white and a majority of the black to show. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And let's torch it, see what else can come up. There's a lot of little cells already. But let's see if I can bring it up so you guys can see it a little bit better, maybe. Yeah. Kind of get an idea what's going on with them. So we're just going to put this aside. I'm already loving that aqua and that violet flat. It looks like all the colors are being represented, so I'm happy about that. Let me move this aside. definitely gonna have to do them one at a time so what I'm probably gonna do is one and then I'll come back in the morning when this one's dry enough and I'll film the second one so the colors kind of had in mind I'm gonna keep those out a little bit of the orange let me move these all aside all right, so color shift yellow pink Turn Williams navel orange Turn Williams come on a violet and color shift purple flash. And I'm going to do them kind of in a descending order that way. And I want them straight across here and then we are going to swipe twice with some white if I can remember what I put. Okay, so they're predominantly lighter colors going on a black background which I want, and let's see, so yeah, we're just going to swipe, so I just need to start laying down the colors in the order that I need to swipe them.
So I want to keep it in this this tone. And yeah, definitely gonna have to move some stuff. Let me put some stuff away actually. Okay. So I'm gonna swipe the purple from the right with the white. It's gonna look on here. Now we're gonna come back and swipe this way with the the white. I'm gonna do this twice because I know it's not gonna be enough. There we go. I'm not too worried about these edges because again, once this is dry, the majority of it's coming off because of the tape. Now we're just going to come back and swipe opposite direction. Ooh, I'm kind of liking it. It reminds me of clouds, which is a good thing. Let's torch it real quick, see if we can get any of this. See if anything wants to move. <gasps> that purple is so pretty. I'm excited to see this one dry. And then remember, we just did those little neighborhoods. So I wanted a very sky look across the center. When this is dry, I don't know if you haven't watched any of my videos before, when I put the borders down, the tape down, paint over it, when this is dry, I like to peel off that tape and it reveals a really clean, crisp black border or white border, whatever the base is. a lot of paint left. Some really pretty skins going on down here though, so let's see if I can place this out of the way. Let me grab a tile. And we're just gonna do two tiles real quick. There we go. Alright, so I will be back in the morning when this is dry. We'll do the second painting. And then we'll go on from there. See you then. Welcome back everyone. So it's been 24 hours. Got this all nice and dry. Loving the way that flash dried. Now let's take off the tape and reveal the borders. There's a little area to clean up right there with some black after. That's okay, it's an easy fix. grab our black paint. I like to keep a little bottle of black when I do my little John Beckley style paintings or maybe touch up black paint for stuff like this. It's easy just to grab the little bottle. Come in and clean it up. And so I already finished. I just have to clear coat it, which I use this Dupla Color Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat. I use this on the resin pieces that I do. I use it on 3D pieces like this. So I came in and I cleaned up all the windows and put some gold around the 
the doors and then added silver along the outside. So I'm just gonna spray this down with the duple color, keep it all clean and clear. But that's kind of what I had in mind. I'm probably gonna come in behind all the windows and everything with some parchment paper or something. And then that way we can add little lights behind here. Those little fairy lights maybe. And give it a nice glow. And it gives it that nice evening, dawn, morning, time kind of look to it. Very simple to do. And I love the way it looks. So let me move this one out of the way. But let's get the weight down and we can do the port for that one. Okay, so the idea that I had for this one, since we did lighter colors, I wanted to do, we're going to start off with a flip cup and then I'm going to have a second cup to come in and do like a ribbon pour across, probably horizontal. And the colors we're going to be using are all going to be darker with some hints of lighter. So I definitely want to use some of the color shift blue violet, the color shift purple flash again, then Soho phthalo green blue, Sharon Williams dark night, and Sharon Williams hyper blue. I'm thinking maybe some black. And I'm debating if I should add a metallic brass to the mixture. Yeah, I'll do it. All right. So let me spray the cups down, get my gloves on, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I got the flip cup flipped, it's already coming out, Let's see if I can't, some really cool things already happening with it. Too worried no well, because we still have the ribbon board to do on top of this just trying to make sure that all the center is covered I might not do the ribbon pour actually. Might save that for a little hexagon or something. Because I am loving what is happening here. Ah! Okay. <laughs> what happens with paint pours, right? The unexpected. I think I'm satisfied with this quick flip cup. I wanted it to be more of like a a night sky kind of feel to it and all these little tiny cells that popped up are just screaming starry night to me as far as this goes I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna let it dry like this I'm loving all the metallics that are coming through on this I'm so happy I added that brass to it once I get this dry and the, this one cleaned up I'll have the white border taken off and if you want to see the finished version of this go check out my instagram because i'll post pictures of both of them the black border and the white border finished and i did make a cute little tile from the, the leftover paint yeah let me know what you guys think do you guys enjoy this was this something fun do you like the idea of the little neighborhoods well 
hit like, share, comment, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!